Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you a really interesting green alga, Clostedium muniliferum. This creature can do a lot more than just photosynthesis. Many Clostedium species have this typical half moon or crescent shape. Clostedium muniliferum is around half a millimeter long, which is a huge size for a single-celled organism. And it rarely comes alone. It usually grows into microscopic forests. The cells excrete transparent mucilage to build a matrix, allowing them to stick together and to reach higher ground. Mucilage secretion also allows them to move. Think of them as tiny rocket ships in slow motion, with goo coming out of their thrusters instead of fire. The pointy ends of Clostedium contain something that make it even more remarkable dancing chambers. These pools in the cell are called terminal vacuoles. They contain vibrating crystals of barium, strontium, or calcium sulfates. In simple terms, different types of gypsum crystals. The water molecules in the vacuole bump randomly into the tiny crystals, causing them to dance and to vibrate in a random pattern, the so-called Brownian motion. The function of these crystal chambers is largely unknown. Although there are a few theories out there, they might help the algae to determine their orientation, a bit like a gyroscope, or they might have biochemical functions to precipitate certain ions that are dangerous for the cell. If true, the crystals are something like small kidney stones, which doesn't make them less beautiful. These crystals form near the cell's nucleus and are transported by cellular plasma into the dancing chambers. The nucleus in the center is the brain of the cell controlling Clostarium's functions. Clostarium's DNA is contained in there. The cellular nucleus is situated between two massive chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are organelles containing chlorophyll, making the cell green, and they are responsible for photosynthesis. They are the power stations of the cell. Just to give you an idea how big these chloroplasts are in comparison, take a look to the cells of more evolved water plants. These small grains wiggling around are normal chloroplasts in a plant. Just marvel at the size of these organelles in Clostarium. They are crazy huge. How do these massive chloroplasts evolve? Thanks to these massive solar power plants, Clostarium produces huge amounts of oxygen and sugars, which attracts a lot of animal life, especially amoebas, heliozoans, bacteria, and even diatoms. All these creatures flock to Clostarium to feed on the mucilage and to take a deep breath in the oxygen Clostarium produces. And even after Clostarium's life is expanded, its empty husk serves as breeding grounds for all kinds of different ciliates and fungi. Clostarium is a typical first producer, enabling animal life on planet Earth. For me, Clostarium is the most beautiful microbe in existence. Simplicity and beauty in perfect union. What is your favorite microbe? Please let me know in the comments, I'm really curious about this. Thank you so much for watching. Let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious. See you on the next one. Bye bye.